Series. Back at the U.S. Championships in Fort Worth, the first rotation in the books. Simone, ba there's a shock. Simone Biles in the lead. Suni Lee, excellent, right behind Jordan Childs, Michaela Skinner, Mari Drake. But boy, what a good start! As you look at Jade Carey, the 21-year-old from Phoenix, and already wrapped up a spot, an individual spot in Tokyo at the Olympics, and, and just to further set the stage 14 members individual spot and another individual spot this happened wednesday here in the arena unbelievable that is a triple twisting double layout never thought i would see this done now simone biles introduced a triple twisting double on floor exercise at the 2019 season this if she does this at the olympic games it'll be a carry and it's a big one I think it's the hardest piece of gymnastics, personally, I've ever seen. And, and by the way, video credit goes out to, to Tim oh, right that was here. Tim. <laughs> oh, yeah. I did not know that. He was ready that. to capture it down there on the floor. I was so excited. How could you be? How could you not be, though? Can I just have you repeat what you just said, though, Tim, about the most difficult? Yeah. It's, you know, I mean, Simone Biles, her vault certainly is, is right there, that double pike. But... You know, it, a triple twisting double layout as opposed to doing it in tucked like Simone does is just off the chart. She's not going to do that here tonight, though. Just a double double. <laughs> Being at a national championships when there is so much pressure, especially in an Olympic year, she has to have a little confidence <laughs> going into any <laughs> event knowing she's already secured her spot on the Olympic team. And as we talked about, she did not do the triple twisting double layout. We'll be doing it at the Olympic trials in a few weeks, but you know, I was obviously joking when I said just a double double because <laughs> this is still extremely difficult. Two twists, two flips, laid out position. And you, you see that mat there, she is able to use that. And, you know, I was talking to her dad before the meet began, and dad and coach, and, you know, he was, t I was telling me what he was going to do, she was going to do on floor, and she came over and said, hey, I, I, I did hurt my ankle at the U.S. Classic, and so that's why I'm not doing all of the hard stuff, because I want people to know that, you know, I'm, I'm I can do tough. more. I yeah, can do more. Exactly. Bring you over to fault, Leanne Wong, the 17-year-old from Overland Park, Kansas. Oh, Beautiful. boy. We were there to watch her break through on the senior level back in March of 2019, winning the American Cup in Greensboro, and that was after the U.S. Junior All-Around Gold Medal. Simone Biles still to come when we come back to Fort Worth. Back at the national championships, the number for Jade Carey for floor, 13.25. Remember the step out of bounds, Leanne Wong, 14.75 for that vault we saw as we took you to break. That's a great score. Yeah. <laughs> Big number. Over to uneven bars, and Simone Biles now, not her favorite. Well, th that's uh, <laughs> just an understatement. Yeah. <laughs> she has told us probably every single time that we talk to her, whether it's at a competition or any interview that she hates the any of bars. <laughs> yeah, you know, she's she's the best gymnast in the world on three different events, in my opinion. And she is 
This is her weak one, but it's probably top six in the world, somewhere around there. Mm. So she just really has never felt extremely confident on this event. But right here is where she's had some problems lately. A little bit of leg separation, but... Big dismount, double twisting, double. <laughs> it's automatic. It's just automatic. <laughs> Not to be nitpicky, but that is exactly what the judges are going to do. This is really the only visible flaw. Watch her legs come apart a little bit here. She fell on that recently. But no visible error on this dismount. Double twisting, double back, and she does it just again, like everything else with such ease. Everything she does is difficult, but it looks effortless. And I think that's why sometimes when we watch most difficult elements in the world that she performs it's almost impossible to believe that they're that difficult because of the way that she does them get the number for simone in a moment over the floor and morgan heard the 19 year old trying to return to that form that won her a surprise world title back in 2017 which she followed up at the worlds with a bronze medal but she's had injuries and trying to be consistent now not doing all around tonight and started on beam and had a disastrous performance. Two falls at Surgeries on her right elbow, her sixth and seventh elbow surgeries throughout her career, and it's really held her back the last year and a half or so. The number for Simone on uneven bars, 1475, guys. Pretty good for your weakest event. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so two more to go, two events to go for Simone here in Fort Worth tonight. Chelsea Memel now in that same group and over on uneven bars. Bars, the 32-year-old mother of two with her six-year-old son, Dashiell, three-year-old daughter, Audriel, in the building watching her. And wow, what a start, Maskey, right? I'm, I'm vaulting. That was, that was amazing. You know, it's one thing to just come back out here and, and, and compete again, but when you are doing skills that you have not done in <laughs> years and performing them better, mm. it's, it's just... So impressive. Good combination right here. Oh, boy. Oh, that was fingertips. We oh. got a heart attack on that. Mm. Oh, boy. Mm. That's interesting. I don't. Well, you know, I think she was supposed to connect that to something else. And, and a lot of times doing elements facing the low bar. 
Like you're, some athletes are taught how to do giants. It's a totally different tap. Mm. I don't believe I've really ever seen her do a giant facing the low bar. So when you're not able to do that and you would do something the way you would do it the other way, and you straddle your legs so your, your, your feet do not hit the low bar. So you see she's too short on that handstand, so wasn't able to connect it into something. So it was just better for her to hop off than risk cutting her feet on the bar and possibly getting injured. Live now. Wow. Chelsea memo things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Got everybody in the house rooting for, her, including her husband. Her son, I said, remember? It, Tears her in his eyes. Daughter's here, and then you've got her, her dad coaching her, her mom and sister out there helping as well. And, you know, it's an arena full of people just in awe of Simone Biles, but all rooting for Chelsea Memel, too, right now. That's great. <laughs> Watching Simone Biles tonight, and we're going to watch her compete. Try to be the first woman to win back-to-back -back Olympic all-around titles in over 50 years at the Olympics, beginning July 23rd, live from Tokyo on NBC. Meanwhile, the U.S. championships continue as we send it over to Andrea Joyce. Well, Terry, you know, the gymnast here will tell you that Nationals is a very special event, but it is particularly sweet this year for Suni Lee. She absolutely lit up like a Christmas tree when she told us that her family would be here to watch her compete in Fort Worth in person for the very first time in three years. The whole family, mom, dad, and three siblings drove in from Minnesota yesterday. Now, you may recall a few days before the 2019 Nationals, Suni's dad, John, had a horrible accident. He fell off a ladder and was paralyzed. Well, we are happy to report. I talked to John today, and he has made some progress. He is part of an experimental program that uses electrical stimulation to fire his muscles. He can move his legs a bit, just enough, Suni told us, to kick her. Lovingly, of course, but uh, as it has been for so many people, this year has been very difficult for the Lee family. After losing two close relatives to COVID, John told me today that being here to see SUNY compete is an incredible gift. Terry? They are extremely close, and SUNY often talks about what it means to have them watching from home at the World Championships. If you guys remember, he was watching, John was on TV with tears in his eyes. And it was just that day before the Nationals in 2019 when it happened, and uh, she came and competed, was so good. And to have them here is awfully special. In fact, she posted on social media earlier tonight that just in time for the meet, Eve and John. That's great. Midway through rotation number two here in Fort Worth, here is. Suni Lee about to compete on balance beam. Another one of those athletes coming back from injury. Yeah, and she's really had this problem with her foot and ankle, you know, really since 2019. been just spectacular on the uneven bars, but this has also been a very strong event for SUNY. Really just off on pretty much almost every skill. Nothing too major, but slight wobbles. And some signs of nerves. Oh, and she did only one layout step out there. I believe she did the same thing at, at the U.S. Classic. You know, a much easier dismount than we will be seeing from some of the other athletes, but 
sometimes life is put into perspective <laughs> by the situa situations. I think her mom's glad that effort is over. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, so many moms, they, they can't even watch. Yeah, exactly. You know? Your mom never watched, right? Uh, she watched warm-ups. Yeah. <laughs> and then excused herself from the arena. Jordan, but. Jordan Child's mom can't watch. Look at that sigh. <laughs> You know, but, but as I was saying for studio, I mean, that uneven bar routine really is not only just spectacular, but that is really the spot that she can help Team USA, the, the, the place where she can secure her spot on the Olympic team. And here's that dismount. So you see some leg separation there at the end. It was just, it was just a little tentative, but not bad at all, though. 18 years of age, St. Paul, Minnesota, and you kind of forget that they're people away from competition graduates high school this week <laughs> big week for her. yeah we get the number in a moment meanwhile over to floor in 21st after the first rotation sky blakely just 16 years of age frisco texas her hometown and 35 days too young to compete in tokyo in 2020 but not 2021 <laughs> Bounds there. Love her gymnastics. She is just wonderful to watch. Unfortunately, had a really rough start on the balance beam, came off, but she's wonderful. Yeah, we saw her a couple of weeks ago at the U.S. Classic have a problem on the beam as well. Other than that, she was pretty good. And you know, the balance, the all around. Yeah, absolutely. The balance beam actually is where she really is so exceptional when she is able to hit. So the numbers momentarily her Suni Lee on beam 13.9 guys and you see that execution so an 8.3 which is out of a 10.0 and it was as you said Tim it was nothing nothing really drastic but every single element was just a little off a little unsure of herself all right how about Kayla DiCello the 2018 US junior vault champ and one of those young rising stars a few moments ago on vault a lot of power. We've seen some great double twisting Yurchenkos today. 14.65 and enough to jump into fifth place overall. Remember, rounding out this second rotation. All right, Jordan Childs, all around silver medalist. A moment ago, her effort on uneven bars. Does a lot of releases in this routine. Has always been good on bars, but much cleaner now. Beautiful combination. That's this right here. This little flyway with a half turn, Ginger. Man. Wow. Right? It's amazing what a little confidence 
can add to your gymnastics. And that, her coach right there, Cecile, has said that when she first came, she just had so little confidence, so much talent, so much ability, and just didn't believe in herself. Sixth in the all-around the last time the U.S. Championships were held back in 2019 and looking for better than that this time around. 13.45 for Sky Blakely for her floor. So we continue here in Fort Worth and the leader throughout best in the world, Simone Biles.